everybody, it's now Kathy's turn, you know, by paint pouring by Kathleen Miller. Uh, how do I follow that act? Seriously, come on. Anyways, Phil has all these ideas, so this morning he rushed downstairs at 6.30 and said, Kate, Kate, I got a really great idea. We're gonna do a barrier pour tree ring technique. I go, what? What is a barrier pour? Well, you know, that's where you have the mountains on the canvas. You know what that stuff, you know that stuff? Phil, what stuff? You know the stuff that you make, it, it hardens? You mean the pumice? Yeah, that's it, that's it. I said, okay, whatever, that's good. Get, do you have the paints made? No, I don't have the paints made. Well, why can't we use the ones up here? They're not the right consistency. Well, we could try, no, we're not trying it. So, I went for my walk in the mall with the dog, came back home, he's still sitting there going, you gotta make the paints, you gotta make the paints. So, I made the paints. So, anyways, here's his barriers. And they look like little mounds, you know, and that was the pumice. So you just, you can take that pumice and you can mix it with any color paint you want. You can paint it after. This is not even hardened. So hopefully it doesn't just fall off the barrier reef. <laughs> so anyways, my colors that I'm using is Yellowish Green by Amsterdam, Magenta by Liquitex, Iridescent Gold Deep Fine, which I used this a lot back home in my acrylic paintings. This is a different type of uh, golden where it's, uh, they have fine and they have another grade, but it's a very, very pretty color when it's uh, mixed. Only the best for my experiments. Yeah, only the best. That's why I'm doing this, <laughs> I guess. Uh, titanium white by Amsterdam and turquoise by Amsterdam. And I already have them in my cup that we're going to attempt here because uh -huh. this is Phil's idea. He this, told me how to do this. This is going to be a ring pour starting around the, the center barrier. So here we go. Oh, we almost went over the barrier. Oh. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, go over all the barriers once you get there. Until you get until you have enough paint on there. I'm just going to use all of it. As long as you can keep going around the outside, it should work. Do you ever sleep? <laughs> well, I can't sleep when I'm thinking of this stuff. Okay. Cup pour. Cup, Cup pour. pour. So there you go. Confucius say, no sleep when you have an idea. Okay, Confucius say, okay, Phil, this is your gig. You put these gloves on and you start tipping. <laughs> Confucius say, no way, Jose. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Got to get rid of those bubbles. I'm going to need a Starbucks after this, let me tell you. <laughs> okay. I'm what do you want me to do, Confucius? I'm going to need a double espresso. Well, yeah, you're going to need something. So what do you want me to do now? Well, I, I guess you tip. Because you I, want me to tip? That's what you do with a ring pour. Okay. I, think, you know, I don't really know, but it seems like it would be the thing to do. This is your gig. So, see, I'm letting you in charge and instead of me to, in charge. I'm going to try to get it around the barriers and see if the barriers can do some interesting things with it. Well, the barriers definitely stop it from well, that's what they call offflowing. It a that's what they call it a barrier. It's supposed to flow around the barrier. 
That's what it's and doing. Stretch out some of the rings. That's what it's doing. Well, that's good. That's good. I like that idea. That's that's what I dreamt about last night. <laughs> I thought you would dream about me. I didn't say, or, I but didn't that say, would be I a nightmare. I, a, <laughs> I knew you were. I see. I knew you were going to say a nightmare. I'm glad you said it. Because I, I I could read your mind. I knew you were going to say that. You are such. Oh. You know what, Santa Claus. You might get coal. Wow. Yeah, well. Oh, Watch boy. out. God. Mr. Colombo. That's not a good angle because it's too dark from that angle. I know. Just stay put, stay would you? Stay put. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're getting, we're getting some interesting stuff on here now. Composition. Composition. Stuff is the is the technical term. Stuff is uh, <laughs> Phil's term. <laughs> yeah. See, those barriers really uh, make it go in different directions. Yeah. That's that's just what I was Dreaming hoping about. it would do. Yes. Exactly. That's exactly how I dreamt it. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It is. Look at that. Look I mean, it's that. really kind of cool. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm going to show the barriers and how it kind of stopped some of it up and stretched it when it went past, changed some colors. Colors are pretty. Yeah. I like that. Uh, since this, since these um, barriers aren't dry, is there a way to kind of maybe smooth out the top of that one? Barriers are supposed to be bumpy. Well, that one ha has a big crater in it. It, I, I don't like it. <laughs> oh. I'm just ask. I'm just asking. Well, why just don't you asking. touch it? Uh. -uh. You can do anything you want when it's oh, wet. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I just want to get rid of that. And I thought that turned out. Uh, this turned out real nice. Colors are really, really pretty. Yeah. The only thing it's coming off the sides here, which it's coming off the sides. Yeah, but that's okay. Well, you can touch that up. Was it uh, too too uh, thin? Might have been. A little too thin. Okay. Might have been, but you don't know. Well, you, but can, yeah, find, you, you can, can finalize that. And that's easy. And just dry a little that's bit. That's easy. So. Okay, well, I think this is a little experiment with uh, a barrier pour using the tree ring technique. Um, I, I like it. I think it was successful. And it's just something something different and, and new. And it was exciting to kind of see what actually would happen. <laughs> Okay. Uh, right. Well, everybody, you know the routine. Subscribe, hit the bell, share if you if you'd like to. Um, give it a thumbs up. Don't ever do thumbs down. Well, you can if you really don't like it, but I prefer the thumbs up. And um, wait, I, wait, I just want to mention something about we really appreciate you know all the comments uh, we're getting, questions and comments. Um, Sometimes we're a day or two late getting back to you. We apologize for that. This past weekend, we were at a three-day art fair, so that kind of set us behind. And, of course, uh, family life every once in a while interferes with art life. So please, um, you know, be patient with Kathy uh, getting back to you, and, and please keep those comments and suggestions coming. Okay, until the next time, everybody, you know. Bye!